So here I am, Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, another film of MCU Phase 4, and also the official sequel to Doctor Strange. So, oh boy, I have a lot to discuss here. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and Full Metal Dippers here, so we're probably going to have a mix between of a b- debate probably. <laughs> about if the movie was good or garbage or right. iffy, which I'll get started with the plot. Maybe we'll discuss how he felt about each segment. Yeah. So the movie opens up with an alternate Doctor Strange and the most hated character in um, Marvel ever, American Chavez. Um, escaping through this, uh, escaping this demon type monster, and of course the demon monster catches up to them, and Doctor Strange, well the alternate one, tries um taking her power, which will kill her, but then he gets killed by the demon monster, which I don't, I don't like American Chavez, but I don't think any Doctor Strange would go that far. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anyone would even go that far. But then again, it wouldn't mean we wouldn't have America Chavez anymore. True. <laughs> anyway, um, the alternate Doctor Strange dies by the demon monster. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And before he dies, he um, cuts American Chavez from the demon monster. And both him, uh, both her and his corpse... Go through the multiverse where our Doctor Strange open uh, wakes up from um, that vision or what he thought to be a dream. And he is now preparing to go to his um, friend from the first Doctor Strange movie's wedding. Which I've heard some people are... I've heard some people when I heard the leaks... Um, we're probably going to be upset about that. And I could definitely see why, because I did rewatch the first Doctor Strange yeah. re- uh, before I went to see the movie. And I'm like, yeah, because I wanted to see it first to see yeah. if it didn't retcon anything yeah. like um, modern um, Disney does. Right. So after the wedding, then another demon monster starts attacking the city. Wow. This movie does like, uh, really likes demon monsters. Right. <laughs> and then we get this most impressive shot where Doctor Strange drinks and then he jumps out the window where he turns into his Doctor Strange outfit. I will admit, that was an awesome shot. Yeah. And I give Sam Raimi a lot of credit for that shot. So then, as he's fighting the demon monster, he knows his American Chavez, which he's confused. Yeah. Because she was in his um, dream. And, <laughs> that was funny. And then they fight the demon monster. And then they defeat the demon monster by ripping its eye out. I'm surprised that they even... weird. I'm surprised they even got away with that. Yeah. And I that is a little bit too brutal. Which... Uh, and I, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's kind of brutal if you think about it. Yeah, then Doctor Strange and... American Chavez and Wong start doing some talking about the multiverse <clears throat> and how um, a dr- dreams are really alternate realities, which it's a bit weird. I'll it's say weird, that. but if you think about it, though, it also kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's not the worst thing I've heard. Yeah. It's interesting. I've had some pretty weird dreams. <laughs> so then Doctor Strange decides to... Um, Go meet up with Wanda, and he says that there's this girl we found from an alternate universe, and we need your help, and it can put you on a lunchbox again. (laughs) And then she accidentally reveals American Chavez's name, and it turns out she is the villain of the movie, which I'll get more into that later. And then she says the most cringiest thing possible. She says... You destroy the city and they appreciate it. But when I do something wrong, um, I get, I'm get i blamed as the villain. That doesn't seem fair. Well, here's the difference, Wanda. That is kind of cringy. Like, here's the difference, Wanda. Doctor Strange gave the Infinity Stone to Thanos because it was the only way to save the universe from Thanos. 
where you tortured an entire village. Right. And put them in a TV show. <laughs> don't talk to about don't talk about how things aren't fair. You tortured people. Yeah. So Wanda, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, then um Doctor Strange says that um this is more of something our enemies would say, and then Wanda leaves him and then says, You won't see me as how I am now, you'll only see me as the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Which of course the dojo Starts preparing for the Scarlet Witch to attack their secret fortress. Which she does. Yep. And the effort was working until she somehow um, told one of the wizards to run. And then she attacks Doctor Strange and her have a bit of a fight. But then she gets caught in like the mirror dimension. That was funny. And I will admit, this is a cool shot right here where... Um, Wanda uses the puddles to grab the wizards. That was kind of cool. Yeah. And then she comes out of the, I think it's like a gong. I think so, yeah. And she's all, um, dismembered and has scratches and then she heals. Right. Then she grabs a hold of American Chavez, but Doctor Strange stops her. And they go, uh, her and Doctor Strange go through alternate realities, which some of them were actually kind of funny references. Like, yeah. there was one that looked like the comics, which was pretty cool. Then they finally arrive to the dimension that the movie is mostly in, in an alternate reality where, um,. Their Thanos has been defeated, but their Doctor Strange is dead. And in the process, we learn about this. Uh, we get to learn more about Strange and America Chavez. I'd rather not know about America Chavez. And <clears throat> Doctor Strange is on like some date with the friend from the first movie. And it's... Him getting the watch that we see earlier that's cracked. And then we get to see America Chavez's origin story. Where she's just enjoying her time with her two mobs. Uh, moms. I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah. And then she gets scared by a bee. And sends her mom through a freaking portal. I know it's supposed to be emotional but... Come on. It's just funny how she just sent her parents to an alternate dimension just because of me. And then we get to find out that America Chavez, um, there's only one of her. And that she never dreams. I'm like, oh, so if we killed America Chavez, we would not... No reality would have to suffer? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, they go around the town and they pick up these weird pizza balls. That was weird. And I will admit, this is kind of funny. Then Doctor Strange puts this spell on the, the guy who was selling the pizza balls to just smack himself for like three weeks. <laughs> I will admit that was funny. I do feel bad for the guy, but still. Yeah. So then... We... Then head to a statue of their Doctor Strange, which says he perished by Thanos. And then we get to see Doctor Strange's um wizard friend from the first movie, which I forget his name, I'm sorry... And inside, they talk for a bit, and then he uh, drugs Doctor Strange and um, America Chavez, which, that was an interesting scene. It's like some mystical item. Then they put him in these, like, glass containers. Oh, and also we get to learn about this new technique where, um, I think it's like dream walking, I, if I'm remembering right. Where, yeah, um, where someone, I if they wanted cool. to um, c- 
could possess an alternate version of themselves to um, walk their dimension, which I will admit, that's pretty cool. Imagine if someone like that existed in our world. Yeah. I would totally do that. <clears throat> and her first attempt of... Uh, Scarlet Witch's first attempt of dreamwalking works... But one of the wizards stabs the dark hold in that dimension, and it's destroyed. Which, of course, then Wanda starts torturing the wizards, which Wong does the stupidest thing possible, and give, uh, tells her information like the dark hold was just a copy because of uh, because the same info is in this cave. I'm like, you freaking idiot. Yeah. So, then Doctor Strange wakes up in a glass container, same with America Chavez, and we get to meet another version of the Doctor Strange's friend in Doctor Strange 1, which then we are introduced to the Illuminati. Of course, the Illuminati in this movie has... um. I think six members in all. I think so, yeah. We got Doctor Strange's wizard friend, which went bad. Yeah. Then we got an alternate version of Captain Marvel, but it's not Brie Larson. It's her friend from the Captain Marvel movie. And yes, Captain Marvel still sucks. Yeah. <laughs> to this day. Who knows? I might have to make a review ripping that movie apart. Yeah. I felt like I needed to say that. <laughs> anyway, then we get Captain Carter... Ew! <laughs> hey, Captain Carter. Captain Carter sucks. She was one of the worst characters in What If. Like, her it's character so was so annoying. Then we get Black Bolt, which, not too bad. Yeah. I actually kind of like the concept of Black Bolt. Some people say he's stupid, yeah. like his power, but come on. I think anyone want want the power of killing people with just saying anything with their mouth. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we get the legend himself, the last member of the Illuminati, Ugh. Charles Xavier. Yes, the and it's even the same guy the from the, the myth of legend. It's even the same guy from the old X Men movies by Fox. Yeah. And yes, it's still Century Fox. Screw you, Disney. Yes. So, yes, the Illuminati is a little bit different in this version. Because in the comics, the Illuminati members are um, Professor X, Iron Man, some guy with the black leather jacket. I have no idea who he is. Black Bolt, Doctor Strange, and Mr. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, Mr. Fantastic. I forgot about him. Yeah. And he's played by the same guy as that one character in The Office. Yeah. John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. It's, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and I, will ha and I will have to say, I actually like his Mr. Fantastic. Yes, yeah. there's some questionable things he does in the movie, but we'll get into that yeah. in just a second. Yeah. So, <clears throat> then um, we transition to back to Wanda and Wong. Man, I swear, the majority of this movie is just Wanda. Yeah. Why is, is it called Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness? It should be called Wanda the Multiverse of Madness. Right. And she discovers this cave, which is guarded by demon monsters, which turns out serve her since she's the Scarlet Witch. She does the dream walking thing again and takes over the same exact Wanda she had before <laughs> to go and find America Chavez. Anyway, back at the Illuminati, we find out that their Doctor Strange had went bad because he read their version of the Darkhold. And they had to kill him after defeating Thanos. And then they're still saying, like, we're still concerned about um, you because of their experience with their Doctor Strange. Then the base 
gets breached yeah. by Wanda. And Mr. Fantastic, Captain Carter, alternate Captain Marvel, and Black Bolt go to deal with the situation. Where um, Doctor Strange's wizard friend and Professor X stay with him. And, they, and Professor X says to release him because we'll see what kind of Doctor Strange he is. Yeah. Which I do respect that about yeah. Professor X. He's willing to give people a second chance. I'm glad they got that right. Thanks, yeah. Sam Raimi. <laughs> Not you, Disney. <laughs> anyway, Wanda starts heading towards where American Chavez is getting held. <laughs> where then he then they're st- she's stopped by um, the four Illuminati members. So. I got to comment on this scene, even if Mr. Full Metal Dipper here disagrees with me. <laughs> well, that depends on what you're about to say. I kind of hate this scene a lot. And it's because of Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Here, this is what I was talking about earlier. So, in the beginning, in the beginning when we see him, they say he's the smartest, uh, smartest man alive. I don't see it because he does the stu- stupidest things that ever. First, he says that Black Bolt can kill you with a single word from his mouth, which gets Black Bolt killed yeah. because Wanda covers his mouth. Like, I've seen so many parody videos that would have been alternate alternatives to end this movie. And then also Mr. Fantastic decides to just try to grab her and she turns Mr. Fantastic into string cheese. All right, here's another complaint about the yeah. scene. Why didn't the Illuminati do anything? Yeah. Like even if he did that stupid mistake, they could have tried to stop her. Right. They're they're just like there I'm like this is fun. <laughs> they're just standing there. Yeah. And of course Mr. Fantastic dies and he died for a stupid reason. Because, like, I can understand if he was evil, but he literally says before he dies that he understands what Wanda's going through. He has kids himself, but the Darkhold has just corrupted her so much. Yeah. She's become this villain, which WandaVision did screw up her character. As much as I didn't hate that series. It wasn't bad, but it definitely could change things to make it better. Yeah, and... Now, because of this movie, I've definitely soured on WandaVision a bit. Yeah. To prove the point of how Wanda is just messed up in this film, even the actress of Wanda herself, Elizabeth Olsen, said herself that Wanda is no longer who she used to be. And the character was ruined. So yeah, you got the actress herself criticizing how... Modern MCU has um, treated her character. Oh, and also, as another news point about this movie, one of the actresses was literally convicted for a crime behind the scenes. Yes, I know this is off topic about this small edit into the review, but I might as well just put this in the review. Anyway, let's go back to the main review. Now, because of this movie, I've definitely soured on WandaVision a bit. Yeah. So, it's still not a bad series, though. No, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Yeah. I'm There's like, definitely Loki. worse things that I've seen. Yeah. Or what that if. That was garbage. Or, that was just straight dog water, bro. What if, and um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, even though it started off kind of good. Yeah. And then it became garbage in the end. Anyway, then... Um, then we get a fight between Captain Carter and alternate Captain Marvel. Then we transition to the wizard friend and Doctor Strange arguing. Then we get to see one of the best parts about this fight. Captain Carter gets Darth Mauled. Get it? (laughs) Yeah. That was funny. Which... I was kind of rooting for Captain Mar. I mean, Captain Carter a little bit just to get rid of Wanda. Yeah. But at the same time, I am actually kind of glad she's dead because yeah. I hated that episode. She was annoying. 
Then alternate Captain Marvel comes in and tries to stop her, but then she dies. Yeah. Which I honestly didn't care. Yeah. Like, I have a reason to hate the Captain Marvel we have in the MCU already. Yeah. Because we have to deal with her. She was only there for, like, maybe 15 minutes. Yeah, it was probably about 15 minutes, maybe. And then Wanda starts walking towards their direction, where America Chavez is, where then he is, st- then she is stopped by the one and only Charles Xavier, <laughs> which goes into her mind. So, I have a few problems with this scene right here. Visually, it's very good. Yeah. But I did some research after seeing Professor X's death on YouTube, and I searched, what are Professor X's powers? And one of them is literally mind control. Like, he just goes in there and tries saving Wanda, and in the process, not thinking this through, his neck gets snapped. That pissed me off. Off when I saw that clip. Oh, I was so pissed. And I still was pissed off even in the theater. Yeah. Like, they killed him in the stupidest way possible. Yeah. Like, looking up all those powers... Here, here's a picture of the list I found of all of his powers. Try fighting me on that argument. And it's just ridiculous because uh, he could have done a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's crippled, but still, he still has powers. He can lift... He has telekinesis, which he can lift with his mind. He can control people's minds to get in their head. Like, there are so many things he could have done. But granted, I don't... I think the Illuminati should have worked together. Not separately. Yeah. And then Wanda starts... um, Heading for America Chavez and um, the alternate version of Doctor Strange's friend. I Sorry, I really don't remember her name. Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head. And they meet up with Doctor Strange where, of course, Scarlet Witch is following them. And they go after door after door after door to stop her. Eventually it does. But then it turns out she went through a reflection. Because why not? <laughs> Yeah, why not? And then they go through um, the gap between all realities, and they try getting the um, the um, alternate uh, the the opposite of the dark hold. Um, I forget what it's called. To be honest, yeah, it's basically it. the opposite of what the dark hold is, which yeah. corrupts everything. It uh, whoever reads it, which. Yes, this is how the Darkhold is supposed to be. I have seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. And the Darkhold was in that show. Yep. That was a good show. And if Disney is planning to bring that back to canon, like, how did it escape the Darkhold? Because the last time we saw it, well, to my knowledge, I've only seen the first four seasons. Um, It should be in with Ghost Rider. Screw it. Why wasn't Ghost Rider in this movie? Right. Ghost Rider was cool. Like, even if it's the MCU version, like, come on. And there's no... Ghost Rider was cool. And no, she could not kill Ghost Rider because multiple people have tried affecting Ghost Rider in the past in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like that one clip where, like, the altered person tried giving him nightmares. It had no effect on him. And he turned that lady into ashes. (laughs) So yeah, yeah, there was no way that she could kill uh, um Ghost Rider. Yeah. Apparently there was supposed to be a Ghost Rider according to the leaks, which who knows, maybe we'll get into the leaks and see what happens. Yeah. And what things came true. <laughs> I'm also planning another video where I discuss what happened in the leaks and what didn't, because there was a lot of stuff that didn't happen. But continuing on, um Wanda comes through the middle point between every dimension, and she destroys the book that they were after. Great. Then, um, Wanda gets a hold of America Chavez, 
and sends Doctor Strange and the alternate friend of his to another dimension. And this dimension, Doctor Strange is evil. And I'm going to agree with a lot of people on this. The music fight in this movie was freaking awesome. Yes. I loved that fight. Yeah. Like, it was visually stunning. The tune was awesome. Yes. I never thought you could fight with music, but I was apparently wrong, and it's freaking awesome. Yeah. And, of course, after the music fight, the evil Doctor Strange dies also a gruesome death, yeah. getting impaled by his fence. Yes. Man, a lot of the stuff they're getting away with this movie. Where was this in the MCU to the beginning? <laughs> anyway, um, America Chavez is starting to get her powers drained. She says to Wanda that um, this is one her kids would want. Oh yeah, Doctor Strange multiple times say her kids weren't real. Which, thank you! Because yeah. even though I like WandaVision... I will say, why are you, why do you want your fake kids back? They were never real. Exactly. Like, why are you mourning and turning evil be for a bunch of fake kids? They're, they oh, were they're fake. Re they were real to me. I miss my kids. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, continuing on, after. That was probably her mindset to begin with. Yeah. They anyway. real to me. Yeah, continuing on, then um, Doctor Strange uses dream walking from the Dark Hold to possess the Doctor Strange that tried killing America Chavez that they buried in the MCU timeline. I forgot to mention that because it's an important part of the story. And we get our version of Zombie Strange. So originally when I saw the Zombie Strange... I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be the zombie strange from the What If episode. Yeah, I've never seen that episode because um, two episodes was enough for me. Yeah, I was done after that. I didn't care for uh, What If. It could have been cool, but it turned out to be garbage. Yes. Anyway, then these demon monsters start attacking Zombie Strange because it's apparently illegal to possess. Um, a corpse. Like, shouldn't dreamwalking just be illegal in the multiverse in general? Yeah. Anyway. Actually, it, should just, it should just be illegal to begin with. <laughs> exactly. And then Doctor Strange, um, with the zombie strange, grabs all the demons and uses them all as a cape. Which, I will admit, that was yeah. awesome. That was cool. Then zombie strange comes... There and then Wanda says, "You hypocrite!" I'm like, "You shut up!" Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to destroy the world. He's trying to save the world. Yeah. How is that hypocrisy? Exactly. <laughs> so then, they have uh, they fight it out. Zombie Strange is almost gonna die, and then, um, then, um, Strange uh, tells. America Chavez, you don't need... Uh, the power is in you all along in that stuff. You just need to believe in that crap. And then America Chavez gets full control of her powers. Yeah. Which was stupid. Yeah. Like, the movie introduced a way, like, she couldn't control her powers. Like, like an idea like that would be cool. But with, and with the proper training, she could be a very powerful character... But no, just one pep talk and the bam! Yeah. Power. And I will I admit, so. America Chavez fails. Then America Chavez opens a portal to a different reality. I'm not sure if it's the same reality. I have no idea. And her fake kids, or real kids in this universe, <laughs> get to see um this monster, which... Wanda decides that she's going to kill the Wanda in that dimension, which is a pretty stupid idea. Why didn't, someone brought this in a video I watched. Why don't, why didn't she just go to a dimension where their Wanda was dead? And then you can 
be their um, best mom or whatever. Not go to a dimension that she already exists and kill the mom. <laughs> like, what are you thinking, woman? Right. So then Wanda gets a realization that she has gone too far. And to save the day, she decides to collapse the building she's in. And and then all the dark holds in every universe are destroyed. Like, I can understand one universe, but really, all of them? I don't think that's how the multiverse works. Anyway, continuing on. America Chavez is starting to learn the wizard way, the wizarding way. And then she says, I'm glad that I came to this timeline. And then after that, we get to see a shot where Doctor Strange is fixing his watch, which I will admit, that's an impressive shot. Yeah. I actually kind of like that shot. And then Doctor Strange just starts walking. And then comes the weirdest scene ever. Doctor Strange gets a third eye, just like the evil one. Yeah. Which is weird. I'm not sure if he had a third eye in the comics. I have no idea. I've never read them. And then the credits start rolling. Then we get an end credit scene where this lady in a purple suit comes in and says, you caused... um." A certain time vortex and we're gonna go and fix it and then we get another end credit scene with the guy who couldn't stop slapping himself for three weeks and he finally stopped and yeah that was the movie so what did I think of this movie I didn't hate it as much I th- as I w- thought I was going to just seeing those clips, I'm like, I are, I already hate this movie. Gosh darn this movie. And it wasn't bad. I'd say it's a mixed movie for me. Like, some parts I can enjoy, and then some parts I just absolutely cringe at. Because they're so bad and stupid. But it's a visually stunning movie. Yeah. And, no, I'm not blaming Sam Raimi for the movie being this way. I'm blaming Disney for it. They should have just let him take over from the start. Like, I know he can make good Marvel movies. He directed three Spider-Man movies for crying out loud. And I'm glad for Sam Raimi because, according to what I've heard, Doctor Strange is his favorite character. And I'm glad he got to direct a movie of his favorite character. Yeah. I'm glad for him. I'm happy. Yeah. I will say this, though. Part of me thinks this should have been like Doctor Strange 3. Yeah. Then, too. Because if you remember from the first one, they were hinting at his friend hunting down wizards. Apparently, there was a leaked scene where his wizard friend was going to show up to try to kill Wanda. And then Wanda kills him. Which I'm kind of glad that didn't happen because I want to see that movie with him and Doctor Strange. Yeah. But yeah, in all, it wasn't bad, but I won't. I will say it wasn't good at the same time. Personally, for Sam Raimi's sake, I'll give it a five out of ten. Yeah. Not perfect, but but not, not bad either. Not a bad movie. I think, I think Sam Ra- uh, some of Sam Raimi's direction did save this movie yeah. a bit. It's not bad, but it's not good either, though. Mm mm. So, what would you have to rate it? I'd say probably a 6 out of 10. Because of, uh, um, it's because of the graphics. Agreed. That's agreeable. So, yeah. I actually didn't hate Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as much as I thought it was going to. Because I watched the clips before yeah. watching the movie. Alright, uh, you were telling me you thought it was going to be garbage. Yep. And it turned out not to be bad. I'd say part of it's still garbage, yeah. but... It's not as garbage as we were expecting it to be. Yeah, and trust me, there are things that look worse already. Like, yeah. have you seen that She-Hulk trailer? Yeah, it's so stupid. Or, um... Even just the trailer looks so stupid. Or Miss Marvel. 
Yeah. That one was also so stupid. Why are they doing stuff like that nowadays? Or even worse, Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, God. Have you seen that trailer? I've seen the trailer. It's so stupid. Yeah. MC is going in a dark place. Yeah. I think I'm going to be wrapping up the MCU very soon because I'm just done seeing garbage. It's a dark place. Like, I personally want to see, for the last film in the MCU... I want to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3, just for Chris Pratt. Yeah. But, yeah, it was not a good movie. But before we go, I might as well discuss what uh, one thing that did happen that said in the leaks. Yes, Wanda does snap Professor X's neck in the leaks. Yeah. So, yeah, that part was true. But they also mentioned things about, like, how Cyclops was going to be in there and she was going to murder him. Same with Storm, and... You know, if it was dark... I would love to have seen Cyclops. Yeah, but I also didn't want her to kill him. Yeah. You know, I honestly, I think you should uh, should kill Dark Phoenix instead, yeah. because no one liked that movie. Yeah. Nobody liked her. That movie was just so annoying. What From what I've heard, I've never seen it. I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's stupid from what I've seen of it. But if anything, we do own Dark Phoenix on DVD... Yeah. So I could just slide it in, see if, <laughs> just review it one day. Yeah. yeah, I think from now on, I'm going to review probably like the older Marvel movies. Maybe some new Marvel yeah. stuff. Maybe. Because I've heard like Moon Knight isn't that bad. Yeah. I've seen the trailers. It doesn't look that bad from the trailers. But yeah, I think I'm going to be wrapping up the MCU. I, I think from what I've seen so far, I'm pretty much done. With this franchise, I'm just hoping um, Guardians of Galaxy 3 is good. The only reason I would see another movie is if... Who is that guy from The Office again? John Krasinski. If John Krasinski helps with that Fantastic Four movie, then I'll go watch it. Because I have seen A Quiet Place 1 and 2. He is a great director. Yeah. So yeah, that's my review. I hope you liked it. Tell me what you think of the movie. Tell me in the comments if you liked it. Please like the video and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, too bad. (laughs) Deal with it. Like it anyway. Yeah, like it anyway. (laughs) Alright. Have a nice day. And also, go support my friend Full Metal Dipper, who has his own channel, which I'll leave in the end, I'd say, right here. And go check him out. Bye, everyone.